I've recently posted some videos about Norwegian Cruise Lines coming up with a new class of solo cabins that they are rolling out across their entire fleet, 2,000 of them, and also another video about Celebrity doing pretty much the exact opposite and making a blatant cash grab at the expense of solo cruisers. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I'm Jen. I make videos about my adventures as a 50-something silver and solo traveler. My last cruise was with Princess and I went solo and I didn't really think that I got full value for it. But after these polar opposite <laughs> announcements from Norwegian on the good side and Celebrity on the terrible side, I decided to take a look and see if Norwegian could, you know, tempt me to change my mind and possibly do another solo cruise. So here's what I found. Spoiler alert. If you haven't watched my video, Four Things to Think About Before Taking a Solo Cruise, I ended up basically deciding that I would not take another solo cruise. And one of the reasons was price, the single supplement. So when Norwegian came out with their announcement recently that they would be adding dedicated solo cabins to across their entire fleet, and not just inside cabins, but ocean view cabins and solo balcony cabins as well, and that they would cost less than the regular double occupancy cabin of the same class, I got reinterested in solo cruising. I had not been able to find one of the new solo class cabins available online in any of the itineraries that I've been searching, but I finally have, and I thought that I would share the results with you. It looks like Norwegian wants to do business with solo cruisers. First, the itinerary interested me because it's the Mediterranean, which is somewhere I have not been before, and also it offers lots of ports. That's important in my calculations about whether or not I could be tempted. Second, I absolutely will not get another inside cabin, windowless, dreary, little box. I need to have a view. I need to have private outdoor space. I need to have fresh air. I need a balcony or at least an ocean view cabin. And I know that this is a polarizing topic because there are lots of people who want to save the money and they don't care about the windowless box aspect of an inside cabin. But you will not shift me on this. <laughs> this is the side I am coming down on. I am team balcony or at least team window. Hey, if you like the video, could you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment? It would help me out a lot. So here are a couple screenshots of one of Norwegian's new solo balcony class cabins. This is one on Norwegian Escape. It's got the same dimensions given as for a regular double occupancy cabin, but I'm not sure if that's a typo or not. Um, if you know, leave me a comment. And this is their new solo ocean view class cabin. Again, Norwegian Escape. It's nice, good enough, but personally, if there was a solo balcony cabin available, I would be taking it. I'm not even gonna show a picture of the solo inside cabin because this is a video about what would tempt me and I would not be tempted by an inside cabin. But what about the price? Well, this is for this itinerary on this ship going at this time. And obviously it looks like they have some deals going on right now, but the principle should be the same across other itineraries and ships. So here we go. For a regular, Double occupancy ocean view cabin, the price would be $5,420. And for one of the new solo ocean view cabins, $4,232. That's a $1,200 savings for a solo cruiser. Yay. And for a regular double occupancy balcony cabin, the price would be $5,970 versus $4,707 for the new solo balcony cabin. Again, about $1,200 less. Well, there you go. I have to tell you, I'm not affiliated with Norwegian. I've never even been on one of their cruises, but given the obvious incentives they're offering for solo cruisers, I feel that I am tempted. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments.